Okay, you guys, it's uh, November the 11th, uh, the day after the static fire for the SN8, and we are looking at the launch site, and there's some uh, pour going to happen. And uh, from uh, my perspective last night, I saw a little bit of concrete flying in the air. There was a gentleman that was here at 2 a.m., and he said they were out painting the uh, launch stand pretty early uh, at daybreak. And uh, there was a lot of inspection going on all night, so the road was open quite early. So there couldn't have been too much damage or they wouldn't have opened the road that early, 2 a.m. So let's get some pictures. Well, if you see a little bit of shaking, everybody, I'm on top of the Nissan. Don't tell Ray, though. Anyway, we are um, looking at some inspections going on.
Okay, there's been a lot of walking up and down the berm and uh, some kind of inspection going on there also. And the dust, I'm sorry you guys, but it's hard to keep with the wind jiggling me up here and the, uh, the dust clogging the atmosphere on my focus. I uh, keep switching my ISO every time it gets bleached out with dust. So anyway, um, we'll see what else is going on. Those guys just looked important, so I thought I would Pretty smooth from this side. I might be missing a chunk in this bright sunlight, but a lot of visitors out looking. Um, You can hear some talking and uh, some visiting. Sorry about the wind, folks, but uh, it's pretty dusty down there. Up for coffee at my house. now I found me some toys to watch So while we're watching these uh, toys rearrange the earth over there, um, I was looking for, con uh, for uh, cement damage and uh, I didn't see any, but maybe when John edits, he can uh, scrutinize and look in on it. But uh, I really think it wasn't metal because it didn't glow like metal. I've been um, looking at our videos that we shot last night from the uh, Sea Cottage porch on Canal H, which was a hoot. I had so much fun. And the view was killer. 
Uh, Everyday Astronaut had the same view with Rachel and, uh, and Jean Gore's view. Uh, one of uh, Lab Padre's view was from there. Uh, well, a little further to the east. Um, I think Austin Bernard's view was, I, I can't keep track, but Austin had a good view. Maybe it was somebody else. But anyway, I've been so busy. Uh, congratulations on all the great views that everybody got. And I just uh, think the hard checkpoint had so much uh, easterly winds blowing that it obscured it and I guessed right. So I went and uh, got me um, some shopping done and um, some um, um, homework done with my producer and we uh, staged there uh, with the easterlies blowing thinking that we could get a better um, smokeless view and we did and we just went yeah I do like the hard checkpoint view for some things when the winds blowing just right um, so don't get me wrong I'm not bad mouthing my hard checkpoint access uh, on the uh, through the uh, soft checkpoint access, not at, at the hard checkpoint, at Finn Park. Well, just when I start sitting on their view, they stop. So uh, let's go look around the other way. I hope everybody can hear me through the wind. It's really picking up. Oh, they're pontificating and uh, strategizing. Okay, you're looking south or um, kind of east because um, the beach curves around. Um, but anyway. Kind of south southeast and that's kind of a stockpile area in the very back of the refuge there in the lost um, in, the, in the bay behind the dunes and uh, if you've seen the rgv uh, flyovers you can see how they've groomed all that land back there and how they've done the um, the edge of the um, perimeters there and it's behind it goes way behind the uh, starship heavy orbital launch mount and um, it's all full of uh, containers and pipes and We just had a gathering of the Mustangs and uh, they were yakking it up so I missed <laughs> it was fun uh, they gave me some free water but um, so I missed the crane moving over to the dirt pile I don't know what it's moving but um, it could be a piece of equipment you can start to see the, the uh, thickness of the landing pad over there, the uh, Starship Heavy landing site. At least that's what I've been hearing that's been called. It's pretty thick. Uh, the guy's it's coming up to that guy's knees. <laughs> so the crane operator is standing outside the door there on the, uh, on the uh, crane and I'm not sure if he's done for the day or not.
Well folks, this is Finn Park and uh, I'm over here on the LBJ Boulevard and uh, it looks like they're putting up some really nice fence posts set them in concrete and uh, got it all squared off so this will help the uh, fans from getting plastered the, the, um, the, those big luxury transport vans park right there in that squared off area on the right hand side and they just get plastered with sand so maybe they're going to put up uh, a fencing that will have a, a privacy wind screening so that the sand won't uh, batter the vehicles so bad and people can board and disembark on the, uh, the uh, transports without so much uh, wind and disturbance. It's kind of nice to get your bearings when you get off of a, a bus or a van and, and, and get situated before the wind smacks you in the face. But anyway, I'm sure it'll be pretty however they do it.